Two foot cantilever gate rolling smoothly on the rollers. I got a 32 foot opening and a 17 foot backstop on six and five eighths inch pipe. Nice and straight. All right, so here's my finished and painted 32 foot cantilever gate with a 17 foot backstop. Total length of this gate is 49 feet. Um, in the video, in the next few videos, I'm going to show you how I made it. 32 foot cantilever gate. The total length is going to be 49 feet with a backstop. 32 feet of chain link and. The remainder is going to be the backstop. So right now I'm taking these 30, I got two 38 foot pieces right here. I'm going to cut off 11 feet off of this piece times two and weld one to each end and grind them smooth. Right, so I cut off uh, 11 feet off of that 20 some foot pipe and I've got um, the factory end is butt up with the other factory end and my, my cut which is pretty straight is on the end. I'm going to do that on both sides, the, the front and the back. So the two factory ends will butt up quick. This pipe's pretty thick. Uh, I think it's a SS40 pipe. Um, so you're gonna wanna weld this um, on a higher setting. Cause you All right, so I joined 11 feet to this 38 foot piece to get uh, 49 feet total. Uh, I, 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 got the, I got the weld done there to join them. It's pretty straight. Um, I already ground this one down, so I'm going to do the same to the one I just showed you. I'm going to put one of the 11 foot pieces at the front of the gate, and I'm going to put one of the 11 foot pieces on the back of the gate. So I'm going to do that. The next thing is going to be to put the uprights in. Um, I'm using two and three eighths for the top and bottom piece, and then I'm using one and seven eighths pipe for the vertical framework and one and five eighths inch pipe for the bracing. I'm uh, coping the ends of the one in, of the 32 foot cantilever gate. Here's a picture I drew. This is gonna be chain link, it's 32 feet. This is gonna be the backstop, 17 feet. My total length is 49. So I'm cutting these pipes right here out of one and seven eighths tube. Shout out to metalgeek.com. You can get a template, it'll print it out in PDF. You can see that I've done this several times. All you do is Enter the cut tube and the parent tube and the wall thickness and the degree angle. I don't know if you can see that. And then it prints out a PDF. You trace it. You lay it across. You lay it across the pipe. Usually, I'll look at the inside of the pipe and I will find the welded seam where they joined them together at the factory. It's right there. And then I'll put the end of it on there, wrap it around, make sure it's straight, and I'll take an angle grinder and cut it out. You know, you just cut out the V. I collect all the pieces while I'm doing it so I don't get a flat tire. Uh, I would probably highly recommend the same. And 7 8 pipes are cut, and you can see they join together pretty decent. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to mark out a, probably about an inch on the edge, and I'm going to take the square, and I'm going to make sure that my pipes are welded at 90 degree angle. I'm going to do that at the top the bottom. I'm going to mark my 32 foot over and then I'm going to do the very back at the backstop making sure all these are nice and straight. Okay so I did four of the seven uprights. I got the end, I got the 16 foot mark, I got the 32 foot mark which is where the chain link is going to stop and then this is the backstop so I got to put one more in between here and one more in between each of here. My spacing between uprights in the over the chain link is going to be eight feet roughly, and at the backstop it's going to be eight and a half, so they'll roughly match. Now I got my 32 foot cantilever gate. Here's my diagram. I've got everything welded in place on one side. Here's the length of the gate. Now I got to put the bracing in so it doesn't sag. So now I got all my uprights welded. Now I'm gonna put the bracing in. What I'm doing here is making two braces per section. So there will be 12 braces in the length of this gate. What I'm doing is uh, instead of coping and trying to figure out this goofy angle, I'm just smashing the end of the pipe and then I'm tracing it 
and then making adjustments so it butts up pretty well. I'm gonna center, I'm gonna mark, mark out the center and I'm gonna do the top and the bottom. Both line up pretty good, it's thick enough pipe where you can weld um, and not have to worry about a major gap. So that's what I'm gonna do now. I'm doing that 12 times. I'm just marking out the center, smashing the pipe, tracing it, buttoning it up and welding it. We got about half of them done right now. We got, we're cutting the lengths and beating the ends. They end up laying, they end up laying on here like so. So what I do is just kinda trace it where I think my line's gonna be, and then I'll cut it and fit it in. If you do it pretty good, you know you'll get a gap roughly like this. I usually line it up and uh, put it in, and then, tr and then trim it again. So here's my 49-foot gate, 32-foot chain link, 17-foot backstop. I got one side completely welded. We just flipped it and I welded a few more, but I got the rest rest of the welds to go. They turned out to be pretty tight, so I'm not going to have a huge gap to fill on the inside. There's the one that I coked. Here's the pipe that I smashed. Not too bad. Got a lot of welding left to do, and then it's ready for a little bit of paint and some chain link.